Welcome to the recording for the WYSIWYG Navigation Bar Assignment. This is the last recording for all of the work for the WYSIWYG unit. And in this recording, you'll see we're going to create the navigation bar, also called nav bar, so you can move around in the web pages. So the first thing it has you do, as you can see, I'm right here in section four, part A. And on the nav bar, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the index HTML and we're going to put all these words in and then we click, we highlight the word and then we choose the link icon and then we go show where we want that to link. So check this out. I'll go into the NVU document. So here I am, I'll go to the index page. Now remember my index page is different from yours because I didn't do all the images and things on, on all of these. I just did the index page and the baby page for to demonstrate this work. So I'm on the index page. And I want the word home to link to something. So I highlight it. Then I go up here to the link button, hit link. And then I go choose the file. And I want home to link to the index page. So I click index, then I hit open. Then I hit OK. So now home is a link. Now baby, I want that to link. Go choose the file. And I want that to link to the baby page. Then I hit open. Preschool. Link. Choose file. Preschool file. Open. OK. Elementary, link, choose file, elementary, open, OK. Preteen, link, choose file, preteen, open, OK. Then finally now is going to be link, choose file, now, open okay so I've put all those links in there and I obviously want to save there's the red box next to index so I want to do control s because I've done all this work so I get that saved and now I have that linked if I preview this page here's what I have and if we were viewing this on the um, live then those links would be live I'll go back to normal view so now you can still see all of that so in the directions, what they want you to do is you're going to put all of these on all six of your pages, and you're going to make them links. Now you can also, if you want, and I'm not going to um, grade you off if you don't do it, but you can do some of this page colors and properties. You could change colors of your links. You could change like all of these cells right here. You know, I could do the at and change backgrounds on these if I wanted to. So you can do different things if you want. But going back to the assignment, here's how you can change the type of the text if you want, if you want to change the appearance of what those look like. So you'll do that for all six of your pages. Now this has suggests you're going to make a navigation bar with buttons, some cool buttons. I'm not going to require that. If you do want to do that, I'll give you some extra credit. But this is really a challenge, and at this point, if you've not done this work, don't do this. It will take you far too much time, and it probably won't work well. So I would just use text navigation bar links, just like I showed you. So don't worry about this extra. Now this assignment, so this assignment says add buttons. Well, we did, we just added text links. So we just did text links. And then you make sure all the pages work. And it has you do some color coordination, some extra credit stuff. Don't worry about that. And then you zip the Unit 4 folder and you submit it. So what you'll get graded on is having this navigation bar on all six of your pages. And of course, all six of your pages will end up looking similar to this page. Of course, these are gonna these will have navigation also. So I link. Choose File, Index, Open, OK. 
and baby. Now this one's going to link to the baby page. Link. Choose file. Baby page. Open. Okay, so I would do all of those, and once I got all of those done and they link in all of these pages, then I'm finished with this work. I've completed this assignment, and then of course I save all these pages, and I zip my Unit 4 folder and send it. And let me just take a look, just show you what your Unit 4 folder should look similar to. So here I am. In my portfolio, here's my Unit 4 folder, and it should look sim yours should look similar to this with these pages. And in your images, you should have all the images you're using. And if you don't have images of yourself or some of your assignments, just do something that's related to it. And you'll zip that Unit 4 folder. So you right click, send to compress zip folder and it saves it for you. And then you attach that for the assignment. Now one more thing about this assignment is that once you get all of this created, you want to see if it works. And you really can't check it on your own machine because um, you, you really have to check it on another machine to make sure everything works right. Or what you could do, you could save that unit for zip. You could save it on like a thumb drive or a USB drive. And then you can go look at it from that USB drive. But what I recommend people do is you could, you could save it on that USB drive and then go plug it into another computer and try to and see if it works. Because it can work on your own computer. Everything could work but it may not work when you send it along to somebody because when you send it along to somebody if you don't have all of this organized properly, this Unit 4 organized properly, and when you send Unit 4 as a zip file to somebody, if you don't have everything in the Unit 4 folder then they will not show up. For instance, if my baby picture, if that was sitting on my hard drive but then I link to it onto my hard drive well, when I sent this folder to someone and they tried to run it, then my machine would want to find it on the other person's hard drive. It's a little bit confusing to understand, but as long as you have everything in the Unit 4 folder like this, then it will all work out fine. So that's this work. And actually, if we want to go see how this will work, let's check this out, see what happens. So I'm going to just open up a blank. A file here, so I'm going to do file, open, and I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my USB drive, my web student folder, unit 4 folder, and now I'm going to click on my index page. So now I'm looking at this live. So I clicked on my index page, and of course, remember I didn't have the picture and stuff in here, but if I click on baby page, look, the baby page comes up. Now the reason the links didn't show up on the baby page over here, if I go back to NVU, so I didn't save the baby page. So watch what happens here. Control S. So now the baby page is saved. And it's saved on that same drive where I was before. So I'm going to actually just go back to here. All I have to do is this, refresh the screen. And now look, the baby page is different, isn't it? Now I can hit home and I go to the home page, hit baby, I go to the baby page. So that all works, all works out for me. So I forgot where I was. I think I was just demonstrating to you how this works. So again, I can click home and I get to the, the index page. I can click baby, I get to the baby page. So you can see that everything is showing up properly. So that's how all of this works. Is what, So the best thing when you're saving onto your computer and then get a USB stick, like a thumb drive they call it. Save your Unit 4 folder onto that. And then plug that in and then try to run your presentation, your web pages from your Unit 4 folder on that thumb drive. And see if everything works. If it does work, then you've done everything right. Okay, I look forward to your work coming in. Bye.